how can how can someone who lives in Nigeria wants to jackpot and you want to jackpot to a country where there is no job? I'm not saying don't come here. If you have if you have up to five thousand dollars, why don't you look for another nearby country where you can go? And for example, let's use Europe. Now, how can you be a Nigerian walking on the street, going to stand on the road, helping a Vietnamese to to sell barbecue? No, the thing is, uh, not, not that things are happening really, but the issue is uh, the number of uh, African trooping in, you know, as regard uh, e-visa is okay. my concern. Okay. Uh, for example, we just need to, like, use this medium to advise our brothers from all over Africa, you know, to at least know where exactly they want to go when they want to jackpa like mm -hmm. the word jackpot in back home, you know. Mm -hmm. I know the economy is bad. Everybody is talking about jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. Yes, it's okay. We can you can jackpot, but have a direction. You know, there are some places that doesn't need you to jackpot. It's better for you to remain in Nigeria than to jackpot to go mm -hmm. to somewhere. Give me give me examples. Give me examples of the places that are not from your own experience. Oh. From places that are not okay. good for. Nigerians to Jakwa too. Okay, for example, um, let's use the, let's use the case study Vietnam. Okay. You know? So how can how can someone who lives in Nigeria wants to Jakwa and you want to Jakwa to a country where there is no job? That's number one. There's no job in there Vietnam is no job for Nigerians. For or for, for every for everyone, there, there is no common job. They have only they have only one job here, which is teaching. Like I always say, teaching only teaching job they have. Any other job is useless. They don't employ any foreigner on any other job. That is number one. So, as a Nigerian, for example, you want to Jakarta to come to this place. What is your purpose and what do you have upstairs that you want to come here? Are you a teacher? You are not a teacher, and if you are a teacher, even if you are a teacher, you need to be a qualified teacher with your ten authentic document as a teacher for you to be able to come. Even if you are a black American, it's not easy for them to allow you to teach. Even black skin, black skin America, it's not easy to get a job of teaching, talk less of Nigeria. So that is not even the problem. The problem is, the problem is they should know meaning of visa you know meaning of visa visa are varies for example when they say e-visa e-visa is for you to maybe the country economic is down they want people to come in with money and spend here because the visa they're going to give you is, is written you cannot obtain job with this visa you only come here go to site C, see the country spend your money at the end of your visa, pack your things and go. Go and get more money and come back. They can give you any time you get money and come back, but they cannot renew it for you inside. You have to have left the country. You now apply again from outside before they can renew it again. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Just are you, you, saying, to bring are you money? saying now? Okay. Are you saying I'm saying I hold on? Are you saying now that Nigerians are taking advantage of this e-visa thing? and coming into the country in the hopes that they will get jobs. Is that what is happening? Yes. Yes. There are so many bad Nigerians who are acting as an agent back home in Nigeria and also based in Qatar. Some of them based in Qatar using this adv adventure as a job for themselves, creating job awareness back home that they can give visa to people to travel to Vietnam. So they are bringing them in with, without even return ticket. Without return ticket, I can testify to you that one just came, I had to be like a guardian to him to make sure he go back home. Before he go back home, his family have to send him almost two million to buy a return ticket to go back. He came here, he fell sick. He came here, he spent too much money to come here. 
not we spent up to five thousand dollars to come here after coming here for that he didn't even spend three months two one and two months he fall sick he have ulcer he couldn't work couldn't have everything i even help him to get a job where he can even get like 10 million a month this 10 million is about let's say 400 dollars okay i help him to get a job he went to the job for only 15 days he couldn't work because he was sick you understand now he the agent didn't give him return ticket so we have to find a way to call these people to send him almost two thousand dollars to pay another return ticket to go back home instead of dying here so what the agents do is they tell you okay we have e-visas to vietnam there are jobs there when you get there, you can hold yeah. you and oh. So when when the guy when the guy came, although like one of them called somebody gave my contact to them in Nigeria, he called me. I explained in detail that truly speaking, there is no job here. I'm not saying don't come here. If you have if you have up to five thousand dollars, why don't you look for another nearby country where you can go and for example, let's use Europe. Europe has a plan. They have a plan like for example they have a uh asylum seek asylum camp where you can come and decide to seek asylum we don't have anything like that here even english they don't speak to, to you they don't they don't accept they understand english to speak to you I, now how can you be a nigerian walking on the street going to stand on the road helping a Vietnamese to, to sell barbecue. What is this? So Nigerians now, because they don't have jobs, and they are barbecue. They and one, of the, one, of, one of the things they do is to stand on the road and sell barbecue for Vietnam for Vietnamese to work. Yes. Workers, workers. Yes. And this uh, job assistant and this barbecue they are selling is look how much they make from the barbecue. How much are they gonna pay you? You are skipper as dead already. You can't make head of now. Many of them have been chased out of the house because they cannot pay the rent anymore. After three months, they exhaust their money. Now, let me tell you, shock you now. The Cambodian embassy is not issuing visa to Nigerians anymore because when they come here, the visa expires. They just go by road and to border to Cambodia. So because they, they, need to, they need to go back. They are not even allowing you in. Oh, wow. So, you know, between the border, the, this is Vietnam, this is this is Cambodia. There is empty land where, where it's like a free land. So in between them, there are thousands of Africans there par par parading. Because they can't go to Cambodia, they cannot come back in here. So they are in no man's land. They are just there, doing nothing. In no man's land, there. Yes, nothing. They just begging each other there. When you people come there, they just keep begging. Hey, give me money, help me, help me. Things like this. How can you leave Nigeria with big money and you come here, you, you die your money here, and you become nothing? In general, I'm not saying people should not travel. I'm not saying that, but we should know where you are going. First of all, first of all, they lie to them there is construction job. And in the Vietnam, in Vietnam job, there is no African foreigner working in their in their construction companies. No even foreign company company working in their construction. So how can they give you job? As what? Now even the centers there here in Vietnam, you have so many English centers belong to the Vietnamese people. So they want foreigners to teach there, but not black skinned person. Specifically, they will tell you, I want somebody from Europe, even if he doesn't have even the background of a, a teacher or anything. But Teaching. being the work in the classroom, they respect that. Yes. This is the play job you can you can you can you can see. Hmm. So look, you walk on the street, so you can from here to here you meet like 10 black guys walking on the street, nothing to do. 
So that is my advice I want to pass to them. This is really sad. They should Uh, understand. Okay. Please continue. Please continue. So the thing is, that is the only advice I want to give is that I don't say don't come here. If you want to come here, you should have what it takes to come here. You should either have skills like IT. If you have skill of IT, then you are a football player whereby they've seen your video because they, can, they employ video football players who have a quality video because they want to improve their league. Or you are a teacher with quality, teacher's qualification. You can come in, no problem. But when you don't have all these three, you don't belong to these three group, you have no business here. It's not like in Europe where you can say, okay, I want to work in a hotel. They will never employ you in their hotel. It's not like in Europe where you say you can go and do waitress in uh, anywhere. They will never employ you to do that. This is reality. They will never employ you for that. I've been here for I've been here for years now. So I have to tell you from the experience that anybody come here out of the three job I mentioned, being a footballer with profile, being a teacher with good qualification, nothing. Or IT, IT. You are not an IT somebody. Nothing. This three thing. If you are, if you don't belong to this three thing, Vietnam is not for you. They don't care. No, please go ahead. Continue, please continue. Please continue. Me, I'm just, I'm just concerned. I'm concerned about Vietnam as a whole for the citizen. They can have money and go to where you can seek asylum. It's easier for them to go and where they can even communicate in English easily. It's better for them than to trace themselves come here. Many have been deported. Are been deported. Many have been in jail for no reason. You just take all your money. I believe, I believe many of them have sold their land, sold their land, sold their property to come here, and you come here again, you end up on the streets. Last week, I saw a group of blacks. These ones, I don't even go close to them because I don't know if they are Nigerians or what, with heavy big bags on their head in the night. Someone also told me that they sleep on the street over there. What is this one for? So these are things that worries me, and I said, let me look for you and to share with you. Kambo, uh, I don't know if you hear the story in uh, Myanmar. No Nigerian in Myanmar anymore. No Nigerian is in Myanmar anymore? Why? What happened? No. Myanmar, I was told that, okay, one of some of the group of African, not specific because I know, some other countries guys will do bad thing they will say it's nigeria that is common so i won't specific specify on only nigeria let me just choose african and as a whole for example some of the african guys over there they went and commit crime there in Myanmar, and they committed against one of the top officer government officials they raid them even if you are married to Myanmar citizen you are asked to leave my friend left is in Nigeria now. He has a wife and a daughter. They ask them to leave. If your case is not for to go, they put you in jail. Many of the Africans are in jail over there, and many left. So now you Nigerians cannot go into that place. You know. Okay. So the way the way we abuse things, you know, like Nigerian African, we abuse a lot of things. White people, white people are trooping in here. They are coming in here, spend their money. Go back. They have the freedom to have holiday to come in and go. But we we just want to die there, which is bad. Because you don't have a plan, you don't have a plan before you go to that place. That's why you don't know what to do. 